I think it's a, it's a great trade, number one. Uh, whenever you trade uh, for someone else's best player without having to give up your own best player, it's a good trade. And uh, that's what the Atlanta Braves did. They didn't give up their best player. They gave up a, a, a legitimate major league hitter, which is good for Texas. But what they got back was one of the better players, one of the better hitters in the league, not having to give up even one of the Jones guys or anything else that was significant for them going into the postseason. Do you think now there's no chance he ever comes to the Orioles? Do the Orioles miss out on an opportunity here? Should they have been in the game? I don't know if they had an opportunity to say they missed out on one. I'm not sure if they had an opportunity. I will say this, though. John Sherrill is going to do whatever he has to do to keep uh, Mark Teixeira in, in, in Atlanta. That's no doubt about that. I don't think anybody else is going to see Mark Teixeira for another four or five years. Does this put Atlanta back in the hunt? This oh, absolutely. Trade? They were already in the hunt. Right. They were already in the hunt. Now it makes them. Let's think about this. If, if Andrew Jones gets hot, even even a little bit hot, like 275 hot, he's going to continue to hit the long ball like he has been doing, even when he was cold. He's going to continue to drive in runs. Chipper Jones is one of the, has one of the top three batting averages in the National League. I mean, they got Brian McCann. They've got a, a lineup right now. Uh, Edgar Renteria, when he comes, I mean, they have a significant lineup right now down a stretch that makes them legitimate players. On top of that, John Smoltz. I mean, that, this, this, and, on, and, and from my understanding, the next deal they're trying to move is uh, Octavio Dotel, put him as the closer. Atlanta, I mean, they may have been down last year, but they don't stay down long. Can they possibly work their way back into the wild card hunt? No, I think best case scenario, they work their way back into 500. No, not wild card. They can't get over 500? I think everybody else has to completely go halt, stop, and come back to them in order for them to get back in the wild card. I think they, they become a team that can flirt for 500. <laughs> but I'm watching Bob Haney fix it. Bob Haney has lost a lot of weight. Bob Haney looks good. The stealth version. Not from this angle, he doesn't. Bob Haney. <laughs> yeah. I uh, attributed all to cocaine, crack, and a uh, <laughs> heavy diet of Stoli Martinez. <laughs> There's Ray Bachman. Trying to work. Trying can't, to work. Can't work anymore. He's, it's the first time I've ever seen Bachman act serious. Yeah, look. Trying to get some stuff done, man. My lunch is getting cold.